Guys, for today's video, we'll be further discussing about being a Gcash merchant. Meron na akong video before about the QR code for the merchant. But this time, let's further discuss yung ibang details ng pagiging Gcash merchant. So sit back and let's discuss coming right up. Hi guys, this is Pat and you're in Pat King Toss Review TV. So if you're newer in my channel, I do reviews about Smart Padala, Paymaya, and old videos about True Money, Shopee, Computer Shop, Gcash, YouTube, and other stuff na meron akong experience at ginawa ko na yun ng videos and playlists na makikita nyo dito sa taas. At kung bago kayo dito sa channel ko, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. Basically guys, there are benefits being a Gcash merchant. And ano ba yung mga benefits ng pagiging Gcash merchant? Unang-una sa lahat dyan is ang laki ng user base ni Gcash. And because of the pandemic, isa yon sa naging reason kung bakit most of the people now have Gcash account. And isa na yon sa ginagamit nila to transact whatever electronic transaction they have. So like, meron na rin sa Shopee, um, they can pay using your Gcash. Sa government website, they can pay their their dues using Gcash, etc. So now, since may ganung user base na, introducing Gcash opens up your business to those user base na gumagamit ng Gcash. What are the types of merchant under Gcash? Actually, there are five types of merchants under Gcash. Unang-una sa lahat dyan is yung mga individual or yung mga freelance merchants. Nandiyan din ang mga individual professionals, ang um, sole proprietorship, partnership, and corporation. So for individual and professional merchants, madali lang mag-apply ng sarili mong QR or to be a merchant. I have that video, link na lang sa baba, try nyo yun, baka makatulong yun sa inyo. But basically, just need to apply and supply information and then eventually they will just send the QR code to you and voila, you are now an individual merchant. But there are a couple of requirements if you are a sole proprietor, a partnership, and or an enterprise or a company. So basically, if yun ang ina-apply mo, then you have a separate wallet versus sa, sa mga individual or professional because individual and professional uses their personal Gcash wallet while sa mga business, iba. Parang they have their own wallet for business purpose. In addition, sa mga, sa mga companies na Gcash merchant, hindi lang naman QR ang ginagamit nila. Ini-integrate nila yung Gcash sa mga point of sales nila, sa online transaction, etc. Sa, en sa mga enterprise company, since they have a separate wallet, yung amount doon doesn't really stay that for long. Basically, nag auto sweep siya sa bank account na nominated ng company. Unlike sa personal and professional na nandun lang sa um, personal electronic wallet nila, yung funds nila. Siguro, ito yung pinaka mahalagang update about the Gcash. Uh, and to clarify confusion sa mga tao, sa individual and professional merchant, walang transaction fee na kinukuha si Gcash. As in, full amount kapag nagbayad sa inyo, yun yung mismong amount na papasok sa electronic wallet nyo. However, kapag enterprise kayo, pag um, sole proprietor, partnership, and meron around 2% na tinatawag nilang merchant discount rate na kinukuha si Gcash sa mga transaction. Though, base na rin yun sa, ano, sa agreement ng Gcash and company if they can bargain a lower rate. Pero basically, sa mga enterprise, may, meron talagang charge. It's the same thing with Paymaya negosyo. Sa Paymaya negosyo, naman right now is meron din charge kahit small business na katulad namin na uh, authorized center na may existing business tapos ilalagay yung QR code ni um, Paymaya. Automatic may charge na kagad yun. Not unlike Gcash, kapag individual professional merchant, walang charge. Only enterprise, meaning sole proprietor, um, partnership and company or corporation, yung merong ganong merchant discount charge or MDR na kinukuha si Gcash. It, basically, isa yun sa way na pinakakakitaan ni Gcash. So, isa pa sa mga nagtatanong is paano magkaroon ng QR code para magamit yung Gcredit? Guys, magagamit nyo lang yung magkakaroon lang kayo ng QR code for you to use your Gcredit if nandun ka sa enterprise na category ng Gcash merchant. Before you can avail yung QR code na pwede makapagbayad ng Gcredit. Pero for individual and professional, basically walang ano, walang access sa G-Credit yung QR code na makukuha niya. Yun. So basically, I hope that clarifies questions about the Gcash na bakit sa mall pwede mag G-Credit pero bakit itong individual wala, puro cash lang. I hope meron kayo natutunan dito sa video na to and if so, I hope you could like this video, leave a thumbs up and if not, walang problema doon. But continue to support me by subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and also the bell button so that you subscribe para makareceive kayo ng latest notification sa lahat ng upload ko. Again guys, this is Pat Quinto and you're in Pat Quinto's Review TV. Bye-bye!